Hello everybody, how are you doing? Michael here from Starstreams, back with another Star Citizen video. I hope you're doing well. So, over the last couple of days since uh, 319 dropped into the PTU, our community has been going full force hunting down this brand new, highly valued cave gem named Janalite. Myself included, I've sunk half a day in the, just purely looking through the caves. And yes, we found it! Now, as an avid gem miner myself within Star Citizen, I've spoken in length about what I would like to see with this new rare gem. Check out some of these videos, maybe share them out, uh, particularly this, this video, because this is what I want to see as a game loop. It's really important. I think this is the way that they're going to really bring hand mining forward. So how does Janalite stack up with my expectations? Is it the rare gem node that we've all been hoping for? Will Janalite finally make solo hand mining viable in Star Citizen? To answer, we need to explore what we already know through the roadmap, the patch notes, and from our own experiences of finding this rare gem in the caves. What we do know is what Janalite actually looks like, where to find it, and we can even estimate its value and where we need to sell. Although it seems that limitations apply here, although this may change in the future. And for the value of Janalite, we are using some estimates, and this should be treated as speculation only at the time of this video's posting. The reality is, right now, we don't actually know how much it's worth. Well, we kind of know. So let's start with what it is and where you can find it. Janalite is a rare gem found only in the cave systems, the sand cave systems specifically. We know this because it says so in both the patch notes and the roadmap. We've also found Janalite in these cave systems ourselves, and so we can confirm the location. So why the sand caves? Well, it does make sense as CIG clearly wants citizens to explore their new cave systems. There are likely plans to add missions to these caves going forward, and adding Janalite gives these missions an extra layer. The bad news is that gem spawns are very limited right now in these sand caves, meaning that if you go into one of these caves, you'll find barely enough gems to get close to filling a backpack, unlike the normal caves which are crammed with nodes. So as a hand mining game loop, it fails. Going into the sand caves to hand mine specifically is not a viable way of making money, and the chances of you finding Janalite are slim. The hope, at least for me, was to see Janalite spawns introduced into the normal cave systems also, which at the time of this video appears not to be the case, and maybe even for rock mining as well. This is huge, because now it becomes apparent that Janalite has not been added to boost the hand mining game loop, but instead to push citizens into doing sand cave missions on the premise that if you're incredibly lucky you may stumble over this gem during a mission, but probably not. This effectively kills the hand mining game loop for me as a viable way of earning money. It falls so far short of other industries in the game already, such as salvage or rock mining, that it's just not worth doing. Either in the sand caves due to the lack of general node spawns anyway, or in the original caves due to the lack of genolite spawns. And this is where the disappointment sets in for me, because these fast original open caves have lots of hand mineable gems, they just needed to add the genolite spawns down there too. There's already loads of hadonite, you can make around 20k per backpack, and with a group working together the pay becomes more interesting, albeit you still need to split the profits, but it's quick, and there's plenty of nodes so the money comes in faster. The potential of stumbling across genolite nodes down there also would have made hand mining so much more interesting with the greater potential of earning money. Now at least right now we know that this is not the case. So how much is Janalite worth and where can I sell it? Well as of today we can only estimate based on what we are seeing because even after two days in PTU very few have found it. We can speculate however and that'll be interesting to find out how accurate we are here going forward so here it goes. So here at Grim Hexen we've got Janalite showing 27.64 million per unit. Compare that to a standard outpost where Janalite interestingly isn't even shown. Let's take 275,000 Hadonite shown on the terminal, divide that by 1,000 to give 275 UEC. Compare that to 27.64 million divided by 1,000. 27.64 OK. We'll average 6 to 9 units per node. That's 27.64 OK. Let's say times by 7, you're looking at just shy of 200,000 thousand UEC when you find Janalite, which clearly is below rock mining and most other industrial forms. From my perspective, the hype around Janalite will fade. The value of Janalite still brings it way below par with rock mining due to the rareness of it and the time it will take to find. Salvage, rock mining, high level missions and prospective mole mining all remain way ahead 
And this, I'm afraid, is where CIG have dropped the ball. Do drop down some thoughts in the comments section below. Please do consider sharing my original video as well, by the way, where I map out what I'd like to see introduced into the game for both hand mining and lock mining. I talk about rare bloodstone gem. I think Janelite falls way short of this, which disappoints me hugely. But there's still hope that CIG will listen to us gem miners. Please help, please share, and like and subscribe. Thank you very much. See you on the next video.